AEW Grand Slam. That's coming up pretty quickly here at the end of the month of September. And two matches have already been announced. We have Brian Danielson, who will be, again, it's scheduled to take place. It'll be against Nigel McGuinness. Current color commentator for AEW, but a former Ring of Honor world champion and nemesis, longtime nemesis of Brian Danielson. It's something that's been going on for decades. And I like how during their tenure here in AEW, as Brian is still very much an active wrestler, Nigel has been relegated to the commentary booth. He still throws in those jabs towards Brian, keeping that feud alive. You saw their matches in Ring of Honor. Now that Brian Danielson and his career are beginning to wind down, you want to play all the hits. And I'd love that we're getting this Nigel versus Brian Danielson matchup. Of course, they're, they're treating it as if, will it happen? Will he be cleared? But you wouldn't advertise this match if it wasn't going to happen. I hope they give these guys plenty of time. Give them a half hour just to, just to lay it all out there. Years and years of work together. They've been connected together, like I said, for decades. I'm looking real forward to that. Another matchup that will be, be scheduled is basically for the number one contender spot for Brian Danielson's title, Darby Allen versus John Moxley. Initially, Grand Slam was supposed to see Darby Allen cash in his Royal Rampage, you know, win that would lead to a championship opportunity at the Grand Slam event. But John Moxley, upon returning at all out, betraying his Blackpool Combat Club teammate in Brian Danielson, turning heel, claiming this isn't your AEW, I was here first. And he wants to jump the line, take this title spot away from Darby in order to face Brian Danielson. A lot of uh, moving pieces here when it comes to the story. We knew it was supposed to be Brian versus Darby at the show, but I guess John Moxley jumped the gun and now he's going to be facing him because some people were struggling with this because they wanted an explanation as to why Brian just wasn't going to fight Darby. Why is he just going to fight Nigel? The explanation I took from it is that Brian Danielson after being attacked by John Moxley at All Out, hasn't been medically cleared, right? Leaving the door open for Darby Allen. Hence why John Moxley is trying to rid him of his championship opportunity that he had earned a couple months ago. Nigel McGuinness wants a match against Brian Danielson. We don't know if it's going to happen. It will. But in kayfabe, we don't know it's going to happen because he's not medically cleared. I think that's a... It can be a little convoluting, but it's a smart way of getting two big matches out of a show. I don't know who's going to win between Darby and, and John Moxley. I would you know, venture to guess that Brian's going to defeat Nigel McGuinness in what I hope will be a great matchup. But that Moxley-Darby match surely has my interest because it, it influences the next couple months of AEW. If you ask me heading into All In, when Brian Danielson was scheduled to face Swerve for the title, I thought, well, if he wins the title, it would make sense for him to fight Darby. But then there's Wrestle Dream, and Wrestle Dream takes place in Washington, where both men, Darby and Daniel, Danielson, think about Daniel Bryan, um, are from. In interviews in the past, Brian Danielson has said he would like to pass that torch to someone from Washington. He already beat Swerve, and Swerve right now is in the middle of a feud with Hangman Adam Page. So does Moxley win this matchup, earning a title opportunity against Moxley? I think so, because if you look at it logically, why are we going to have Moxley challenge Darby for the matchup only for Moxley to lose? A lot of moving pieces here. 